How you doing everybody? It's Teddy from Teddy's Gun Shop. Uh, winding down for the night here. I had uh, had a few things on my mind that I uh, want to share with you. And uh, they're good things. Um, anybody that does reloading, uh, working with the brass and uh, and lead and anything like that, the gunpowder, it, it's, it's really a good idea that you buy something to clean your hands up when you're done. You shouldn't use regular dishwashing liquid or hand soap or anything like that, antibacterial. What you want to do is you want to get a good you want to get a good uh, hand soap and this is what I buy off the internet. We use it at our gun club also. It's called uh, it's called D Lead. Um, that's the name of the company. Very inexpensive. It's like maybe six bucks, seven bucks on the Amazon. Um, this is an eight ounce bottle. It'll last you a long time. You put a couple of drops on there, you lather up good with some water, with just a little bit of water. And um, what you want to do is you want to wash really, really good, rinse, and then you use your regular soap that you would normally wash your hands with. Um, this type of hand soap here could be used for anything. It's the firing range, soldering, oil paint, lead paint abatement. Um, directions for use, wet skin and apply D-lead hand soap, lather and wash and rinse. Then, like I said, use your own soap just to go over it. Um, it's good stuff. Um, never had a problem with it. Uh, you know, some people might it might dry their skin a little bit. I'm not sure, but it's well worth buying. Um, you don't want the stuff that you work with to get into your skin, especially if you got a cut or something. Don't don't be silly if you got a cut on your hand and you're working with all this equipment. You you really should put a bandaid on or a a surgical glove or something. You don't you don't want to get any of this stuff inside your uh, system and get sick. That's the last thing anybody wants to have happen is get sick and you won't be able to watch my silly YouTube videos. Um, I loaded around 150 rounds tonight and uh, here's some right here you can see. Um, we had a really good run on the press tonight really no problems at all. It's getting broken in correctly. Um, I lubed a little bit here and there. You you learn how to use it after um, after a while you don't get so nervous and you're, you're a little bit more relaxed as time goes on. Um, I just wanted to share that with you tonight about washing your hands. Um, you can go on the Amazon. I don't know any, how many different kinds of soap there are, but this is really good soap. I know a lot of guys that use it. It's called D-Lead. That's the brand. Um, and you can get it on Amazon, eBay, I don't know, anywhere. You're not going to find it in a grocery store or Walmart. You, you have to definitely go on the internet buy, to buy this. But you should have some of this in your uh, loading area or whatever. And uh, you don't want to use it for anything but when you're working with your lead, your gunpowder, and uh, so forth and so on there. But uh, you really should invest in it. It's well worth the money, and it's a big safety issue. You should get it. You do not want to be, you know, screwing around with lead and stuff like that. Um, one other thing i like to talk about quick. Let me just grab it here. I really did a, I did a quick segment last week. I was having trouble with some of the cases on my press. And uh, I was, I've was i been reading a lot of forums at night before I go to bed. I kind of get my phone, excuse me, on, and I just I look at a lot of these reloading forums. Nine out of ten guys that have been reloading for years will tell you, you do not need any case lube. Well, I've been doing this for about six months, just started out. I don't know nothing about it. And uh, I think they're full of baloney. I bought some Hornaday one-shot case lube. Once again, very inexpensive, six, seven bucks for a can. I don't even know. This is a seven full ounces. It'll last you forever. Um, you shake it up good. I get a, a Ziploc bag, you know. I probably put about a hundred in there. And what I do is I open it and give it a, a quick couple of shots like that. There's actually not much in here, but then I'll seal it. And then I'll just take and I'll rub my hands all around, you know, on the shelves. And then uh, I'll keep the bag close, and I'll let it sit. Yeah, I'll let it sit for a couple hours or next day when I want to use them. They they still stay coated. They're not greasy and they're not oily or anything. And let me tell you something. Major difference. I swear by using a good case lube. There's tons of them out, out there. Um, this is inexpensive. It's Hornaday. It works very well. I will keep on buying it and keep using it. 
I don't see how you can wear out a carbide dye by helping with a little bit of lubrication. Um, I really don't. It's, it's well worth the money. It's going to keep your dyes in good shape. And you're not, you don't have to kill yourself. Every once in a while you get a primer to knock out that's real tough. Some shells, I don't know why they're harder than others to knock the primers out. But most of them are fine. I mean, you get a little shot in that bag and you roll it around there, let it sit for an hour or so or whatever. Till it, it, it just dries. It puts a film on the shell. And um, it really does work well. So I just, I don't know. You know, you read all these forms uh that's on the internet and this and that and people are you got to try it for yourself you you really can't go by what everybody says there's a million videos on this lee loadmaster press that i have the only way to figure out how to run this thing perfectly is to do it yourself there's a lot of tips out there people have to get you going in the right direction but to get it running the way you want there's a feel for it and the only way you're going to get that is you're going to have to learn it yourself it took me a good month tinkering around with this thing to get get everything figured out, how it works, if there's a problem with it, how to resolve it. And it's a good press. It's not a six, seven hundred dollar Dillon press. It's a damn good press for the money. I believe Lee has all good products. Their hand primers are good, all their dyes are good. I know people that have um Hornaday presses, they use Lee dyes in them. They're they're very well, very well made. Um and I have not had any major issues, but like I said, you have to spend the time, dial everything in the way you want it, keep mic and stuff. I wasted a lot of bullets and shells in the beginning because I wanted to really make sure I had everything right. And it, it was well worth wasting a little bit because safety is a big thing. You want to wear safety glasses. I have a shield on the press here where the primers are in case there's an issue there. Um, I don't see any problems coming down the road with that, but... It's a good press. Case lube. The D lead hand cleaner. Really go buy some. It's 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 a good thing. I'm gonna sign off for tonight. I just wanted to go over a couple things with you. Um they're little reloading tips. And uh I'm having a good time doing this and I'm saving money at the same time. I hope you like my videos. Um please like them and I wish people would comment on them. I haven't seen many comments, and have a great night. Remember, conceal that weapon, Teddy's Gun Shop.